Stargazing is a lot of fun for those of us who are curious about celestial objects like galaxies, star clusters, and nebulae. But picking the best telescope for deep space objects can feel overwhelming. Unlike some deep sky objects, galaxies can be challenging to see. Their light is spread out, and often their details are faint. Nonetheless, beginner sky observers might wonder how objects composed of trillions of more individual suns could be so difficult to see? And, the answer is distance. Galaxies are so far away that except for a few, they appear small and faint. So, when it comes to deep sky observation telescopes, aperture definitely wins. The more aperture you have, the more light you can collect. The more light you collect, the fainter an object you can see. So, you might ask, why not just buy the biggest telescope I can afford? The answer might surprise you. There are several other important aspects that play into what type of telescope you might want for catching those faint light sources. When you are buying a telescope for studying deep space object, you will be using a big aperture telescope, for big aperture telescope, a stable mount is the most essential thing. A telescope's mount is one of the most critical factors in the usability of the telescope. You can use any kind of mount, but your mount needs to offer rigid stability. The last thing you want when viewing a tiny light source of a galaxy is vibrations coming through a flimsy mount. Considering all these factors, in this video, we have brought you a list of quality telescopes with which you can observe galaxies. Our first telescope is Orion Sky Quest XT6. This telescope is a budget option for deep space objects. According to its ease of use, quality, and most importantly price, it is a good option for people who are familiar with stargazing and now want to embark on the journey of observing deep space celestial bodies. It's easy to use Finder's 6-inch diameter primary mirror allows you to view brighter deep space objects with some detail, such as Andromeda Galaxy and star clusters like the Pleiades. This telescope is bulky and 4 feet long. So, you shouldn't be moving it very often. Despite being bigger and longer, the telescope is very easy to set up as it comes in two detachable parts, telescope and base, that are connected by the integrated springs. Even with limited experience, it only takes around 30 minutes to fully assemble. It has a Dobsonian mount, which is ultra-stable and keeps the reflector optical tube in place, and balanced for better viewing of distant celestial objects. It has a focal length of 1200 mm and an aperture of 150 mm, which gives us a focal ratio of 8. As mentioned earlier, it is a budget option telescope. So, there is no go-to tracking installed, and you will have to follow the objects manually. If you love stargazing then most probably you love manual tracking. This telescope uses EZ Red Dot Finder. The EZ Red Dot Finder makes pointing your telescope is almost as easy as pointing your finger. It's a non-magnifying aiming device that superimposes a tiny red dot on the sky, showing exactly where the telescope is pointed. But EZ Red Dot Finder is not at all useful in finding deep space celestial bodies. That's why you'll probably need to buy a magnifying finder scope like this one. This telescope comes with 25mm plus lightpiece, which gives a magnification of 48x, but that's its final limit. You'll probably need to buy a couple of more eyepieces to get more viewing options. The pros of buying this telescope are, it has a 6-inch mirror which is good for brighter deep space objects. It is very easy to set up and has a very stable mount. The final is, it is pocket-friendly, so you'll not burn the bank. The only con of this telescope is, it comes with only one 25mm eyepiece. As it is a beginner's telescope for deep space sky gazers, so you may find its size as one of the cons. Overall this is a good telescope for sky gazers who are on a very tight budget. You can get maximum out of this telescope if you upgrade with the accessories mentioned. Our second telescope is Celestron Next Star 8 SE. This is one of the most popular telescopes for deep space objects. The Next Star 8 SE is a motor driven compound telescope with an 8 inch aperture. Its design allows it to capture fine details from galaxies and other deep space objects in the night sky. The telescope's single fork arm construction makes it easy to assemble and take down. It weighs only 16 pounds or 7.25 kilograms. So, it's no trouble to transport it to your favorite dark sky location. Its sky align feature makes it easy to set up the telescope's go-to and tracking functionality using any three bright celestial objects. This telescope has a database of 40,000 objects. There are many deep space objects in that database. Once you are ready after the setup, you just select the name of the object from the database. The computerized motor will slide and track the object so that it never goes out of the eyepiece. 
This telescope also has a red dot finder, which is not at all useful for finding deep space objects. As it is computerized tracking, you will probably need an extra battery for alternate power supply. This one also comes with a single 25mm eyepiece, which gives 85x magnification. You'll need an extra set of eyepieces to get the most out of this one. This telescope has a focal length of 2032mm and aperture of 203mm, which gives us a focal ratio of 10. The mount of this telescope is computerized alt azimuth. The 8 inch primary mirror in this Celestron is a decent size for seeing many deep space objects. Its limiting stellar magnitude is 14, so you will see a lot of galaxies and nebula with this telescope. Pros of this telescope are it is easy to use, easy to move, and has a large database of celestial objects. Cons are it has a short battery life, so you'll need an extra battery. And it comes with only one eyepiece. Overall, this is the best option for amateur astronomers who want to balance expense and functionality, which is why it's so popular. Our third telescope is Orion XT-10G. This telescope has a huge aperture. The Orion Sky Quest XT-10G is a rare thing in the world of telescopes, it is a fully motorized go-to Dobsonian reflector telescope. It is able to locate, center, and automatically track over 42,000 celestial objects with the push of a button. Its huge 10-inch aperture mirror collects more than enough light for crystal clear views of star clusters, galaxies, and nebulas, as well as closer objects such as the moon or even other planets. Its focal ratio is f4.7, from a focal length of 1200 mm, which is perfect for achieving wide field views of galaxies. Its limiting stellar magnitude is 14.7. Coupled with that big 10-inch mirror this telescope is a great choice for fainter deep sky objects. It comes with a 28mm deep view and 12.5mm illuminated plossel, providing 43x and 96x magnification. Since this telescope is motorized, you'll need a 12 volt DC power supply, which is something to keep in mind. However, it still operates as a regular telescope if there's no power source available. This telescope is very heavy the tube alone weighs 30 pounds, and the base adds another 40 pounds. The pros of this telescope are, it has a big mirror it is easy to set up. And it is fully computerized tracking. Cons for this telescopes are, it is very heavy, so you cannot move it very often. And it is a little expensive. Overall, if you have the funds and the love of galaxy hunting, this is the telescope you need. Our fourth telescope is Celestron CPC Deluxe 1100. This telescope is perfect for deep space stargazing. If you have the budget, this is the perfect combination of aperture, size, and usability for hunting nebula and galaxies. The Deluxe 1100 has a bigger aperture than the XT-10G, but its major benefit is its 24-inch tube, with more than double the focal length. That's why you should expect to pay around $3,500 for this scope, making it one of the most expensive telescopes for deep sky astronomy. The large mirror comes with premium coatings to improve image quality, so you should also expect to see more detail in brighter nebulae and galaxies, like Andromeda Galaxy, Orion Nebula than you ever have before. This telescope is less bulky, but it is not lightweight. It weighs 84 pounds. It is not physically possible to move this around in a single piece, it has to be done in section with a helper. Its database has over 40,000 celestial objects stored in it. This is the telescope which gives clear views of all of them. The pros of this telescope are, it has a huge mirror in a compact body of the telescope. It is very simple to set up. And tracing objects with this telescope is very easy. The cons of this telescope are, the price, it is a very expensive telescope. As it is computerized it requires additional power. Overall, if you are looking for top-notch experience in deep space stargazing and budget is not an issue for you then this telescope is for you only. I hope you got all the information about the telescopes mentioned. You can check their links in the description, and please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.